Welcome to Vet Ranch, I am Dr. Matt, and we have a sad little puppy here. This is Rex, and Rex just came to us today, and he was um, turned in, or found by Animal Control um, just a couple days ago, and he can't walk, he has a big wound on his head, and I felt his leg, and it feels like, it felt like there was a broken bone, um, and I took an x-ray, and there was in fact a broken bone. So he's uh, in pretty bad shape, and he's a young puppy, probably around eight months old, we're kind of guessing, but let me show you the x-ray. This is his femur, his right femur coming down, and as you can see, it kind of curves around here, it's broken here. This is his growth plate, this is a tibia here, and you can see there's a little growth plate right through there, um, and that's what it's supposed to look like. It looks like a fracture, but that's just his growth plate. Here it was broken on that growth plate, and I'll show you what a normal one is supposed to look like. This is a normal femur coming down right here and you can see this one is just kind of torqued around in there. So the fix we're gonna do is basically put some pins crosswise through there to hold it and uh, little puppies heal up pretty quickly so hopefully we can get that thing healed up. But we're gonna take him to surgery tomorrow morning and we will let you come along. It's the day of surgery. We have him under anesthesia and I'm about to um, get all this prepped and make an incision on his knee right here. Foot's down this way, body's this way. Here's his kneecap right here, and the broken femur's down under this, and I just poked through over here, and all this fluid's really sticky. That's joint fluid, but it's all bloody. It's not normally bloody like this, so that's telling you there's a lot of damage down in that joint. So I'm just kinda keeping, uh, I'm gonna keep dissecting down this way until I can see what's going on, try to find that bone, pull it up, and pin it. All right, here is the bottom section, the distal segment of that fractured bone, there's the fracture right there. Um, and I'm having trouble getting it to come up. I need it, I, I mean ideally I'd like it to be right up next to the proximal segment which is right here under this tissue. Um, I don't want to cut this tissue, it's a big ligament, but um, I'd like it to come up next to it but it's really hard. All the muscles on the back side of this are pulling it down, um, kind of contracting down. So basically what I'm going to try to do is just pull it up as close as I can and pin it. As long as it's um, pinned and immobile it will um, it'll heal. It might heal a little crooked but it's better than um, just flopping around in here broken like this. So uh, that's the, I think the best I can do is to Pull it up as close as I can and just pin it and just try to get it to be stable. Pin through this way and pin through this way, through the distal end of that fragment, um, up through the fracture and into the proximal bone there um, on both sides. This is the kneecap right here and the patellar ligament tendon coming down right here. That's when the doctor hits you and you kick your knee. That's what that is. So I went on both sides of it, up through the bone, crossed it, and now I can bend this leg and it's not going anymore because those bones, that fracture is held securely there. It may not be exactly where it was to begin with before the break, but it's not grinding anymore, so it'll heal. It may just heal a little crooked. We'll just have to wait and see now, but I'm gonna basically cut these things short and bend them over up here on the top and on the bottom so they hang on there really tight, hold those bones together tightly. Then I'll suture up the joint capsule, these two incisions here, and then I'll suture up the tissue and the skin. I'm almost done closing the skin now, and then we'll bandage him and wake him up. All done. Knee feels much better than it did. It's not grinding anymore. There's a slight pop, and it's where the kneecap is going over that fracture line. Uh, but that fracture line should all fill in with fibrous tissue. Um, either way, though, it's about 10 times better than it was. That bone fragment is held solid, so that should allow it to heal. And I was just finishing him up, and I saw something else I wanted to work on, so I went ahead and neutered him as well. So now I'm going to wrap up his leg and wake him up. Here's Rex, it's been about four months since we did the surgery. He uh, is all healed up. Um, he doesn't even have a scar that I can see very easily. Um, and uh, seems to be putting most of his weight, he still is a little bit tender on that leg, which is kind of expected because it was not a perfect fix. I couldn't really get the end of that bone rotated all the way up. So he may always walk a little funny on it, but he's about 10 times better since he couldn't even walk when we first got him. So all of his uh, surgery was paid for by donations from our YouTube viewers. So thank you for supporting Vet Ranch. Thanks for helping out with dogs like Rex. And we will see you next time.
Thank you.